Oh, well, all right, this is part two to, I'm at the process where I'm fixing to actually make the sumate soup ship. Ah. Schumach or sumac eight. So uh, you might not be able to see my face because of how it's positioned because I'm outside and I'm bad and I'm clumsy and I seem to spill everything. So I got the dropsies as it's called and clumsy. So let me scoot this a little closer. And let me show you guys. I already pulled off the container. A big old heavy weight that was holding it down. Okay. And here's the, the sumac berries in the water. And what I did is, let me, oh, I already touched the water. Let me see here. I can get that a little closer. What I did is I'm going in here and I'm going to squeeze. Now, yes, this feels weird and it feels sticky, whatnot, whatever. You know, so I'm working out the rest of the juices. And that's what I'm doing. And now i got to go. Because <laughs> I've already poured it on me. So, what I'm going to do is I got a clean white towel. Use a towel that um, you don't really care about because you're going to, it's going to stain it, but it happens to be white. And I've got my sumac aid container that I usually put it in. So, I'm going to take this, let me scoot this back down, and I'm going to put this towel over it. Now, what I'm first going to do, let me get this bag. Oh, wow. Look, guys. It stained. The sumac stained my Rachel Ray heavy cast iron pot. That ticks me off. So, what I'm going to do, where'd the bag go? Hold on. It blew down the road here. <laughs> Good Lord. All right. I'm going to take it. I'm going to sit this bag in the cast iron pot. I'm going to take all the sumac berries. Do not throw, do not throw these away. You can still dry them out and use them for teas and seasonings and spices. As much as you can out of the bowl. Drain it off. Squeeze it if you must. Get all that good inflammation medicine out of there. Oh, it's like playing with glue. It really is. So I'm trying to, if you could see that water is not white, no water consistency. These are the, like the berries here. I'm trying to get as much as I can out. And if you have a cut on you, I mean, it, it's an astringent too where it will help heal it, but it will burn. I'm telling you it will burn. All right, that's about all I'm going to get out of that, honey. And wash your hands before you do this, okay? Because I'm a very big hand washer. So, here we go. I'm going to put a little indent in this. And I'm going to take this without spilling it. Hopefully, I won't spill it this time. Make an indent and hold on to it or put a rubber band or a rope. And slowly. Now, this is how I'm going to do also the water. I will be doing the filtration of the spring water the same way. So, I just thought I'd tell you that. Take this, and it will catch all the debris, the berries. Do it a little at a time, otherwise this will go, and then you're messed up, and you got to restart it all over again. Hear it draining or seeping through the clean towel? Now, I didn't use bleach on this towel. I just it was a plain. Um, Sensitive for sensitive skin, so it does not mess with it. It just filtrates the, I mean, and if you want to, you can use your cheesecloth if you have it. Coffee filters, you can do that too, which I have done coffee filters. It's just right now, I didn't feel like it. And I'm trying to get, where's the liquid at? Let that drain. Where is it at in here? Oh, it's almost to the top. Okay, that's the last bit of that. Set that right there. Scoot this back because I'm going to put this up here. Let's see if you guys can see this. Now what I'm going to take, move that over. 
We'll grab this. It actually looks like tea this time. Really squeeze that out. Because remember, like I said, you can still use this, these berries, for spices and teas. It's actually quite good. I'm going to use the end of that towel. And I don't know if you can actually, let me see. It actually looks like tea at the moment. A very weak green tea. But this, then what you do, you test it, taste it. See, now this one, I'm going to, because it's a very tart, very, very tart. So what I'll have to do is I'll go inside, add some either brown sugar, cane sugar, or some stevia to it. More than likely, it'll be stevia. And what I'll use is probably two teaspoons. That's it. I rarely put, uh, my only sugar intake is for my coffee in the mornings. Other than that, I don't bother. But that is how you do the sumac aid. Now, let me go ahead and tell you, my first one was bright, bright red. I mean, blood red. And that was because they first, that was the first time they changed their color into the the maroon color. But the longer they stay up on the, on the, on the tree, the lighter the color will be, but the stronger the inflammation is. The inflammation fighter, which will help you with your muscles and your bones. I'm also going to show you, I've already hung up, where are you at? My sumac. Or staghorn to dry so and that will turn into this pretty little thing and on my bark the sumac bark this over. I mostly work outside because I will literally excuse me it's soaking wet and I'm trying to move it it will literally I will destroy it this was the branches that accidentally broke off while I was going so what I'm going to take I broke them down into smaller pieces and let me see, do I have enough out here? Oh, but I got a five way. I love my tools. So what I will do, I can either soak the, peel these immediately. I will peel these. I mean, excuse me, but I'm going to use my famous knife. I will slowly peel these until it gets to a white bark. <laughs> and then I will stick them out. For them, and this is sticky, mind, mind you. The resin in it is very sticky. There we go. See? It's like, you know, if you've never shaved, played with a knife and a stick, then I don't know what happened to you when you were a kid, but this was fun. But, you know, you shave the bark off. And you can use the bark. You can dry the bark off. And you can dry it out, turn it into a powder, add it to foods, flour. You know, you can add it to anything. But what I'm trying to get to is the bark. Because the bark has an astringent too. And once it gets to a certain dried, and it will dry quite well. I don't have any on hand. No, actually I don't. It is sticky. I can break it into little pieces, put it into my food processor, and grind it. Or I can use you know, a pedestal. Well, me, um, I, and it's packed up right now. It's an Indian, uh, an original Indian artifact. It's the old pedestal stone and the grinding pedestal rock, and I can do it like that too, but hey, I like doing the old traditional ways. You do your way, I do mine, so, but after I skin it, but remember to save the, save the shreds, because you can dry it, grind it up, put it in teas, put it in foods, put it in your flour when you go to making breads, or God, don't we miss gravy? So, I mean, you can. I'm going to put this actually in the bowl, and that's what you do. But what I'm going to do now, if I do not see how it gets a... Let me show you. Get to the point where I want to show you what it looks like. This is why I say put it in gravies or breads. It's a pretty white color. Very pretty white color. So, I'm going to let them dry out after I peel them. Let me get this out. But that's another... That's another time. But what I'll do is I'll put these more than likely in an onion or a potato bag and let it dry out. But right now, that's how you make sumac, sumac oil, staghorn, or it's actually sumac aid. So, and it'll help you with inflammation. If you don't know, it's called sumac, S-U-M-A-C-K. 
S U M A C, sumac, aid. And read the ingredients, read the directions, read the properties and how well it'll help you. And then turn around and go to sumac for Lyme disease or Lyme treatment. And there's actually a Facebook account that's called Lyme, um, Sumac Lime Aid. And they are all surrounded around this because it actually is a very good herbal inflammation for, you know, for Lyme disease. So, um, if you follow, copy, like, subscribe, love you all, and may have a good day because I still got to get down there and see if that water is finally cleared to, <laughs> to get some water and filtrate it too. And... I know I saw a little bitty baby catfish up in that stream, so I'm trying to find that too. But love you guys. Have a good day. God bless.